Now what's an interesting video by Dave Johnson on Flat Earth? And as usual with Dave's, they're very mathematical. They're really not for the common man. Uh, I struggle to understand everything that Dave talks about when it comes to mathematics and Flat Earth and the Moon and, and stuff. But I can see that he definitely has done some work and some of what he says really makes sense to me. Some just goes over my head. And I'm sure that's probably the case with probably 80% of the people here. But there was something in this video I got, uh, which I, I, I've talked about before, and it's to do with the tunnels and the Pontchartrain Bridge. Uh, you see, you accept that water's level, don't you? So when does it cease being level? That's what I got from this. You see, he's got a line here, and he's got the water. Now, for it to go around here, what do you, what do you have every now and again? You have an angle, do you? Or does it curve, right? You want to say water curves. Well, you, you know water's level. Now, if something uh, is level for 10 feet, and then I go 100 feet, and say you accept that it's level at 10, it's level at 100, what makes it then curve at 300? And it'd have to be curving the whole time. The whole time. Let's just look at a picture here. And don't forget on the globe we are curving this way and this way if we were on a globe. Now you're going to accept easy. That's me sitting there by the way. Uh, you're going to accept that any distance, say from me here and out 100 metres, you're going to accept that's level. Right? You're just going to accept that. There's no problem. You'd know that's level. 10 metres, 100 metres. But you want to believe that by a kilometre it's curving. Well, if it was going to be curving by a kilometre, it has to be curving at 10 metres. In fact, there has to be a small curve on an inch of it. In, obviously, micro scale for the relative sizes. But as we go by their model, 10,000 uh, in, in distance on the Earth, we've gone the diameter, 6,000. So we do start the curve fairly well. 6 to 10. Just think about that now. But that's the thing. You know, you accept that this is level here. Well, some people want to say there's a curve there. But you know water in a swimming pool is level. Well, the Suez Canal, you know, is 100 miles long, say. Uh, and I've shown that in a video before. That's what really got me thinking the earth just has to be flat. Because I thought, well, look, if 100 metres of water is dead level, and we know it is, you know it is, well, how does it by a kilometre have a curve? Is it like an octagon? Each section, you know, there's a little angle every now and again. Well, I've sailed along in the sea, and when I was a kid, went fishing. I'm a vegan now, so I don't go fishing. But when I was a kid, my uncles and different people, and my father, I went fishing with out in the ocean. And I didn't come along every kilometre and see a slight angle difference. It was level the whole time, always level. So if it's level, it's level. But people want to believe there's a curve. See, I'm stressing this point about the water because it's a very good thing to tell anyone who has their doubts. Say, look, you know that 100 metres of water of the ocean is dead level. And they'll probably look at you and nod their head and say, oh, yeah, it would be, yeah. Well, how does it start curving after a kilometre? It's only 10 times the distance. Again, do you think it's some sort of octagon-style thing? Yes, angles. I mean, I just can't believe that everybody doesn't get this one. Once I've thought of that one, I thought, why didn't I think of that at school? They suppress it out of your brain. They don't want you to think along things like that. I mean, it's pretty common sense, isn't it? If something's level for 100 metres, well, it's level. Again, I'll repeat, how does it suddenly start curving at a kilometre? doesn't make sense. But the people who don't want to uh, shift in any way, they're just happy with what they were taught at school, will not answer this question. And this goes on to that around the eye man that uh, some people who used to follow me here, or one guy in particular, got onto as a great prover of things. Now he never answered the question about the tunnel, never answered the question about the bridge, and he's sure as hell isn't going to answer me just in that simple way how something that's level for 10 metres, level for 100, 
but once you get to a kilometre, she's really starting to curve. How does that happen? I mean, every inch of it should have a very slight curve. Sure, we couldn't measure an inch's worth if their model was right. We know it's not. Water hangs level. And that's why I think that video of Dave Johnson's was very good. Just that diagram alone just shows you it's impossible. Yes, I'm afraid the ocean is like a flat pan. It's an absolute flat pan. That's only about three kilometres up here. As you can see, nice and level all the way along the back there. Nice and level. No dip. Three kilometres, not even a wince of dip. Look, you can see these people's feet virtually. If I could zoom in and, you know, I had a better uh, lens, of course. Let's just go in a little bit further. No, oh, I can't shift this around, sorry, so that's no good. Pretty good though, eh? Zoom there. In on this lady's feet. Oh, I won't go back now the other way. Here we go. Oh, these things are terrible sometimes. This one's driving me nuts. It, it won't there. Back to there. Not level from there to there, all the way. Level all the way up here. I just can't believe how people believe this rubbish. But one thing you will notice is the shore is actually below the level of the ocean here. So that's going to affect somewhat your vision in the sea. You do have a sort of a risen effect because the waves pushing in there, they're fighting to get in or something. It's the way I look at it. And that bit's a bit lower than you can see just here where the waves are building up. Very nice little picture that one, eh? What else have we got here? Well, there you go. Very nice day down the beach on the level flat beach. So there you go, I'd like people to uh, tell me how water curves, yeah truly. When are you going to get it? It just can't be. We are taught at school, I know, it's hard to get the programming out. Once I started thinking about it properly, and I asked a few questions as I told you when I was eight, did you ask those questions yourself? Did you say to the teacher, what keeps the atmosphere in? You know, I was a bit dubious about these things then. Only because I couldn't understand how the atmosphere would stay in, etc. Uh, and spin with the earth. That was my main thing. Eight years of age. And there's people on here who are no doubt 68, 58, 48, you know, 30, whatever they are. They can't get it. And I could get some of it at eight years of age. That's sad, isn't it? Look how flat and level that is there. Look at that. Anyway, it's just a bit of fun on the shore break for me, eh? After a surf, sometimes I just go and play around with my girlfriend on the shore for a quick minute or two. Just sort of a last spa bath style surf. Free the muscles up. 